This is how you can make an advanced reminder system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this this is of interest to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video so we can start off by going over to your schema folder make sure you actually set this up if you haven't already go ahead and watch the mongodb guide in the description below but we're going to go ahead and create remind schema.js so it should look identical to this you're going to want to have a user a time and a remind all of which are going to be set to string and then you can call it reminder schema or really whatever you want to call it um, and then after you set all of this up we can go ahead and actually create the system so moving over to community here we can go ahead and create a remind.js in here we can do cons we can get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder and then we can set that to equal discord.js then we can do const remind schema equals require and we're going to get dot dot slash dot dot slash schemas and then we can get our remind schema folder then we can do module dot exports and we can do equals we'll go ahead and open this up we can do data and we're going to make a new slash command builder we're going to go ahead and set that name to remind and we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say set a reminder for yourself and then we can go ahead and add a sub command we can do command arrow function command dot set name is going to be set we can go ahead and set a description here we can say set a reminder we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be a reminder then we can go ahead and set a description we can say what do you want to be reminded of and we can go ahead and set required we're going to make that true then we can do add integer option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be our minutes and we can go ahead and set a description we can say how many minutes from now and then we can go ahead ahead and do set required we're going to make this true and then after that we can go ahead and set our min value and that is going to be zero and we can go ahead and set the max value to 59 we can go ahead and add another integer option we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be hours we can go ahead and set description and we can say how many hours from now and then we can go ahead and set required we're going to go ahead and set that to false and we can go ahead and set a min value and we're going to go ahead and set that to zero and we can go ahead and set a max value and this is going to be 23 then we can go ahead and add one more integer option so we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be days and then we can go ahead and set description we can say how many days from now then we can go ahead and set required and we're going to go ahead and set that to false we can set our min value to zero of course and finally we can set our max value to 31. We're actually going to go and set the min value to 1 and our max value is going to be 31. All right, so now we can go ahead and add a comma. We're going to do async executes and we can get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up. The first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and define our options and we can get our guild and then we can set that to interaction. Now we can go ahead and do const reminder equals and we're going to get options that get string and that is going to be a reminder. Then we can do const minutes equals options that get integer. We can go ahead and get our minutes integer and we're also going to set that to zero in case that's a non-selected option and then we can do const hour equals options dot get integer we're going to get our hours and we can go ahead and set that to zero in case that's a non-selected option as well and lastly we can do const days equals options that get integer and we're going to get our days integer and we're going to also set that to zero now we're going to say let time equals and we can do date dot now and then we're going to do plus and we can do day multiplied by 1000 we can do multiplied by 60 we can do multiplied by 60 again and then we can multiply that by 24 then we're going to do plus and in here we can get hour multiplied by 1000 and then we're going to multiply that by 60 and we're also going to multiply that by 60 and then finally and then we can open this up we're going to get minute multiplied by 1000 and multiplied by 60. so after that we can go ahead and do a wait remind schema dot create and we can go ahead and open this up and here we can go ahead and get our user which is going to be an interaction dot user dot id we can get our time which is going to be our time variable and we can get our remind which is going to be our reminder then we can go ahead and do const embed equals new embed builder we can go ahead and set a color that's going to be blue then we can set a description and I'm just going to go ahead and open up the emoji bar here. I'm going to go ahead and select a male emoji. Then we can say your reminder has been set for and we can go ahead and do T. We can do a colon. Then we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get math.floor. 
we can do time divided by 1000. Then we can go ahead and finish that off with a colon and a capital R and an arrow. Then we can say, I will remind you, and we can go ahead and open up some quotes. We'll open that up, we'll do remind, and then we can go ahead and finish off those quotes. Now we can do await interaction.reply. We're gonna say embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed and we're gonna go and set informal to true as well because this is a personal message, it's a personal reminder. So with that, we can go over into our index.js file. And here we're gonna do const to remind schema equals require and we can do dot slash, we can get schemas and we can get our remind schema. So now down here, we can go ahead and set an interval and we can do async, we'll open up a empty function and down here, we're actually gonna go ahead and set the time to 1000 multiplied by five. So now we can do const reminders equals await remind schema dot find. Now we're gonna do if no reminders, we can go ahead and return and then we're gonna say else and we can go ahead and open this up. And here we can say reminders dot for each and we can do async remind arrow function and open this up. Instead of remind, we're actually gonna do reminder and that's a little bit easier. Then we can go ahead and do if and we're gonna say reminder dot time is greater than date dot now. Then we can go ahead and return. Then we can go ahead and say const user equals await client.users.fetch and we can get our reminder.user. Now we can go ahead and do user question mark dot send and we can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna get content and in here we can get our user and we can say you ask me to remind you about and then we're gonna do backslash tick. We can get our reminder.remind and then we can do backslash tick one more time. Then down here we can go ahead and catch an error and we'll do catch error and we can just go ahead and return and do nothing. And then after that, we can go ahead and do await remind schema dot delete many. In here, we can go ahead and get our time, which is going to be reminder dot time. We can get user, which is going to be user.id. And lastly, we can do remind, and that is going to reminder.remind. With that, we are actually done with this entire system. So we can go ahead and save the files, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can actually go ahead and do slash remind. And as you can see, we have remind set here. So for our reminder, I'm just gonna go ahead and say testing system. And then we have minutes and we have hours and days. So for me, I'm just gonna start off with one minute and we can go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's gonna say my reminder has been set and it's gonna count down from one minute. I'm gonna continue counting down until it gets to this timestamp, which is one minute from now. And then it will go ahead and send me a DM. So now because we are setting an interval, it may not send the DM right away. It might be like one, two, three, maybe even four seconds after the time actually ends because the interval loops over about every five seconds or something like that. So it might loop over the time when you're timestamp actually ends so it will actually end up sending it a little bit later so here we go it's counting down now and it now is at zero here so now we should be expecting a dm from the bot within the next few seconds and here it is it's going to go ahead and send me this message and it's going to be saying that it is reminding me about the testing system which is what i put in for the reminder right here i said testing system we can go ahead and test this out one more time i'm not going to do anything obviously greater than one minute because that would take forever for the video but you can test that out if you would like this time we'll go ahead and say make a video you make a list basically so we can do edit the video be active on discord i don't know you can pretty much just make like a list and we can go ahead and send it for one minute and here now is the dm coming in from tutorial bot my reminder has ended and as you can see here it's going to tell me that i need to make a video edit the video and be active on discord just like i said before so that is how you can make a reminder system for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and you might as well join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i'll see you guys in the next video